What's up, everybody? Welcome back. This is Final Hydra, and today I am pleased to be bringing you Alan Wake. I played it on my Twitch channel for Spooky Month. The link is uh, right down below if you want to check that Twitch out. But I didn't want you guys here on YouTube to be left out, so I'm bringing them all over here. And uh, I'm going to be posting it one episode at a time, just like the game is broken up. So, without further ado, let's begin this story. Stephen King once wrote that nightmares exist outside of logic, and there's little fun to be had in explanations. They're antithetical to the poetry of fear. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why, but there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest, and it's what we'll remember in the end. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I've always had a vivid imagination, but this dream unsettled me. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. So yes, it began with a dream. Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late, desperately trying to reach my destination, a lighthouse, for some urgent reason I couldn't remember. I'd been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. I'd seen the hitchhiker too late. He was dead. I was convinced they put me in jail and I would never see Alice again. <laughs> Suddenly, his body was gone. I was in shock from the crash. I could hardly stand my feet. <clears throat> well, that's concerning. Look up to the light. Uh, no. Oh, boy. Okay, I can sprint there. Here we go. We're fast. We are, we are, we are. Fast as fuck, boy. I had to go to the lighthouse. I knew there was something important waiting for me there. Something important, like not the murder of that man? The bridge had collapsed. I'd have to find another way to the lighthouse. Oh, I just gotta get some coffee thermoses. That's the collectibles I want in games. Oh, sorry, bird. Dead by daylight, I'm scaring the goddamn crows. Shit. Hey, is that guy stealing my car? You don't what? even recognize me, do you, Ryder? You think you're God. You think you can just make up stuff? Play with people's lives and kill them when you think it adds to the drama? Oh, jeez, I just fell and broke my legs because I wasn't even looking. There would be a single meaningful sentence in your books if it wasn't for your anger. You'll never publish another one of your shitty stories because I'm gonna kill you. It's not like your stories are any good. Not like they have any artistic merit. You're a lousy writer. Cheap thrills and pretentious shit. That's all you're good for. Just look at me. Look at your work. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, I, I guess the man's a book critic. He's pretty upset. You don't need to swing a hammer because you don't like a book. They got they got reviews online now, buddy. You could just missing. Isn't that me? I'm missing. What? This is like a big QR code right here. Quick, I'll take out my phone. Hiya! Oh God. Yeah. You well. missed your deadline. 
Are, are, who the hell are you? Ow. You can't stop Is that, I guess that's the dodge. Oh, all right, all right. I realized that the hitchhiker was a character from the story I've been working on. The random man that I hit with my car was actually a character from a story I wrote. None of this really makes sense, but as any good writer would, I had to just keep moving forward. Okay, he just turned into a goddamn... All right. Yeah, I'm gonna pretend that that's normal and just, it's, this is fine. I think, I think Alan here had a little bit too much cheese before bed and he's having a vivid nightmare. Cause this is, this is starting off hot, like hot and heavy. Man turning into a tornado and shit. Who else that guy? Are you somebody who likes my books? Cause the other guy definitely don't. You have a gun. Now I do Clay Stewart. Thank you for introducing yourself. Mr. Wake, let me in, please. You only brought two bullets, Stuart? Oh. 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 He was a fan. I was trapped. There was no way out. So I hid under the bed. Tom the poet, all right? Bro, how do I punch this TV? All right, this is obviously the way out. I had to get out. Yeah, it's it's this door. This is the door. All right. Ow. Well, that seems safe. Follow the light. Are you also a book? You should go into the light. You are only safe there. Go into the safe haven until you're completely healed. Oh, I get healed by light bulbs. I have something important to tell you. It goes like this. For he did not know that beyond the lake he called home lies a deeper, darker ocean green where waves are both wilder and more serene. To its ports I've been. To its ports I've been. Do you understand? No. No. Nope. I'm real glad that uh, Alan was like, no, I don't understand because that would be wild if he did. Pick up revolver ammo. Taken over by the dark presence. You can't hurt him now. The darkness protects him from all harm. Only light can drive the darkness away and make him vulnerable again. Yeah, I wish I had a revolver. Give me the flashlight. Flashlight toward him and burn the darkness away. Yeah, burn it. Burn it off. Oh, shite. did it. Now the darkness no longer protects him, but it's still inside, controlling him. He can't be saved. He's still a threat. He is still your enemy. Here, take the gun. Take the gun. Right, just pop. Oh, 
I was gonna say, how many times I gotta tap this uh, this poor man in the head? You've done well. Remember what I've taught you. That is all. I will give you back your dream now. In the nightmare, a terrible darkness was taking over the world. The lighthouse was the last safe place on Earth. You've done well. Remember it. Yes. Burn them with light, then shoot them in the head a bunch. I wish I uh, could aim at him without having to actively, like, use my flashlight. Because I feel like I'm wasting some of my flashlight's energy. Headshot, baby. I need to get one of those shakable flashlights. Ho! Oh, didn't see that man. All right. All right. Hey, can't you see I'm burning that other guy right now? All right. Had to had to combat reload my flashlight back there. Goddamn book critics critics, am I right? Pick up the flare gun. <laughs> These men here, they seem to be weak against light, so I guess the flare gun should just one tap their ass. Give me that coffee. Alright, let's see. That was like a weird jump. Just like. They were like, hey, let's bust out everybody we got. Oh, wait, I could use the flare gun, right? That'll be good. Oh. Yeah, that, uh, that did pretty good on them. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, I guess that'll kill him. Saving bullets that way. You push him off the cliff. Hey. Then I'm gonna find out I've actually just been murdering random people. Whoa! Oh, I don't see how. I just keep killing people, so I think I can keep this up forever. Oh boy. Yeah, it's, uh, oh, oh gosh. Okay, here we go, here we go. At least we know this is all a dream and nothing bad can happen to us in a dream, right? Except maybe we get scared and pee our pants and then we have to wake up and deal with that, you know, the repercussions of peed pants. But other than that, we're safe. And no one will know except those people watching. I'm coming, Mr. Lighthouse. Mr. Safe Lighthouse. Get me right in there. If your name was Alan Wake and people were like, Alan, Don't wake up. <laughs> Everything's fine. You dozed off. Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. Why did her face look like that? <laughs> she just looked, she looked frozen and plastic and in pain.
I mean, man. I just like remember playing this game when I was so much younger and just like, wow, the visuals were so good. Like now I'm playing like, I think this is the remaster, so. I think. Let's act like we're on vacation. Go stand next to that old gentleman there. I want a shot of you with the town in the background. <laughs> sure. I'll even just go stand next to shot. that guy. A city boy, moments before he got eaten by a bear. Hi. Hi, do you mind if I stand next to you? Time to visit our town. Deer Fest is just two weeks away. Deer Fest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? Deer Fest. How, how wild. lovely wife. Uh, if you don't mind me saying that. I'm Pat Main, by the way. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Alan Wake. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but... I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I could get an interview? Look, Mr. Maine, I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be discreet. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. Well, he was certainly nice. Hey, I know you're on vacation, maybe, but do you want to come to my radio station? At least he took the he took the letdown nice and easy. Were you just taking pictures of me while I was chatting with some old guy? Come on. All right, I guess I gotta come like chat with her. Very nice. I got a couple of really good ones, and I see you made a friend. That's cute. Right. <laughs> I made a friend. Yeah. Hey, Ben. <laughs> yeah, we just got here. Are the locals giving you trouble? Just say the word, and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry, we're fine. Great, great. Just want to make sure you can relax and recharge. So, how is the place? Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry, we're just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. And you call me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. I'm just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. <laughs> All right, Barry. Goodbye. No, he's going to be calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? Text message from Barry. He says hi to you too. Her head's not even like. Doesn't even look like it was no, sitting on her here. frame right. Come on, let's get back to the car. Oh, quick! Let's get back to the car. God, God forbid. Who's driving? Am I driving? I actually don't even remember what car is ours. I'm assuming it's this one. I mean, I'm back at the car. What are you doing, lady? I'm here. I'm ready to accomplish. Come on, slowpoke. You get the full service here. I've made all the arrangements. I drive the car. I'll eat. The oh, okay. So that's not the car. I was at the wrong car. We need to stop at the local diner to get the cabin key from the landlord. A Mr. Carl Stuckey. He's waiting for us. Mr. Carl Stuckey. Pick you up here in, say, 15 minutes? Sure. Alan, thank you for coming here with me. I love you, too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. I'll promise to behave? I promise to behave. I've forgotten there were still places like this. Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Odier Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for... Mr. Wake. Alan, wake. Oh, God! I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. Rose, I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey? Carl? Oh, of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. I can't believe it. I've got all of your books. I got the all of them from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. <laughs> and you keep it here. Well, okay. She's just like, you know where that cut out belongs? In my diner. All right. Well, Rose, you seem like a... Just don't blame me when you fall in love, because it'll break your heart when you have to leave. Rusty here is no longer human. Nothing but black coffee under a thin layer of skin. Yeah, that makes two Do of us. Do me a favor, Sonny. I could really use a tune right now. Coconut. Number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but 
Both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation. Yeah. Are you serious? Coconut again? You disgust me. Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. Ha. I'll put number six on for that that fine eye patch mitt. Coconut, drink them both up. Just because we're brothers, it don't think that. I won't Get murder stuck. you in yeah. your sleep. You need to give it a good solid whack. Yes. Oh. That's my favorite tune. Boom, give it a fire. Shut your mouth. Now you that's what I'm talking been. about. Yes. Hammer, I... This is it. I've died and gone to hell. That's so ridiculous. What a ridiculous interaction I've had already in this town. These these people are cartoons. Nobody here is real. The hell are you doing, you weirdo? Don't go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I think I can handle it now. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find Stucky to, to get the key and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Overeager fans always did. Don't go in there, young man. You get hurt in the dark. Uh, lady, it's a bathroom. You could fall and die. Well, I guess I could do that out here. Hello? Mr. Stucky? Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. We <coughs> for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. I insist. Thanks. Hey, are you still pooping in there? What's going on? All right, never mind. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. All right, thanks, lady. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. <laughs> this really ought to be oh, my God. I, I, I don't know. Oh, oh, man. He fell asleep. I put on his favorite song. They're local musicians. Off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. Oh boy. I'm just gonna leave before that lady uh Goodbye. Jesus. Does everybody in this town want to abduct me? Accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. Where? Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your your keys! That diner was a real nut house. <laughs> Can you believe this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed so, to be on vacation, what? Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay? Okay. We can talk about this later. Batman in here on PBF I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer, but that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years, not since my last book. And now the weather. It's going to be a clear night, so you folks in the big city might want to look up every once in a while and see those stars winking down at you. Nah, it gets pretty dark out here, but they'll light your way. What a wild time. It's gorgeous, Alan. It's something, all right. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. That's a very, uh, you know, that's a, that's a pretty common fear. He's a good husband that he's, he's like, don't worry, honey. We're going to, it's the sun setting, but we're going to bird, 
Wait a minute. So it's what? What the hell is this? Bird leg cabin. Bird leg. What a weird name. Don't worry, honey. I'm just checking around. Make sure nobody left no coffee thermoses out or something. You know, those things uh, dangerous in the best of times. Feel like there'd probably be one out here. Like there's all this area I can walk in. You know. Can you imagine that right now it's like you're on a timer and if you actually don't go in and like start up everything, like your wife just freaks out? Connected to the power cable. Oh. Well, let me just start this up real fast. Good thing I came back here, am I right? See that, honey? I wasn't just being silly and running around. There was a reason. Alice had told me about Calden Lake Lodge. The old building used to be a hotel, but these days it was no longer open to the public. Okay, I'll look around a bit. Sure Cauldron Lake Lodge, not open to the public. Okay, I guess I don't get to look around. It was a beautiful place. I told myself I could rest here, sleep here, and forget about my work. Aw. Oh. I thought we could be happy here. It's just a vacation. Are you going to live here? Just like a weird uh, phrase, I guess. Be happy here. You know, like, you know, you get enjoy the week. Uh, stay the month. Have a good time. Be happy here sounds like you're moving in. And not for nothing. You've been here for, what, less than an hour and you think you could move in? That's a little crazy. I don't think that's the case. I think that was just a weird turn of phrase. Let's go find our wife. The lighting in this game is Alice? like good, but Honey? weird. Oh, huh, huh. I knew somebody was going to leave a coffee container around here. I don't want my wife to get hurt. Alan, I'm upstairs. I have a surprise for you. Your best guests have already started to arrive. Just ran into one on the ferry. Famous artist, no less. We'll see if we can rope him into an interview later on. Famous artist, nonetheless. Hi, Pat. It's Rose. Why, hello, Rose. What's on your mind? I know who that famous artist was. It was Alan Wake, wasn't it? Uh, He's my favorite writer. Mother... I just saw him at the diner. Oh, I am so excited. He's here. I'm sure he's glad to be here, too. Well, folks, I guess the secret's out. This is Pat Main on KBFFM. And now some music. Great. So much for keeping your work. Bro, just throw Rose right into the lake. Rose, you had one. At least Pat was doing his part. He wasn't telling everybody about me. Rose, let me call up the local radio station. Just tell him. Oh, can't keep my wife waiting. She sounds uh she sounds like she needs me up here. Yes, honey. Oh. Well, hello there. I'm not the surprise. It's in the study. Go take a look. <laughs> Okay. This is a pretty great surprise, though, dear. Uh, we, the study could wait, maybe. No, all right. Surprise! What? Oh, Alice, what is this? I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past. Damn it, Alice! You, everyone. Hey, keeps... hey, hey! Just hear me out. There's a local doctor, Doctor Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe so now you want to get me committed? No, it's not like Whoa, that. Oh, okay. It's not... Alan? Alan? I don't. Just don't. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. God damn it. I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. <sighs> oh. All right. Like, the guy is in... He's a little upset at his problems. I get it. Like, I get it. He's like, oh, man, it's been two years. I can't write. Everybody's ragging on him. He's got Damn it. that Barry guy calling him. Now, like, his wife kind of, like, said they were going to go on a nice vacation, and instead it was out here. Alice? Alice? No! No! Alice! The cabin had gone dark. All the lights were out. I'm coming, honey. Alice, I'm coming. It's over. What the hell was I supposed to do? Oh, I gotta burn the birds? Jesus. 
Coming, dear. Bro, you're going. Nah, that's a husband right there. Diving in immediately. Keep Took like a second to think about it and was like going. Alice? Well, he seems to not be doing too well. Waking up in the crashed car felt like I had woken from one nightmare and entered another. I couldn't remember how I got there. All I knew was that something terrible had happened to Alice. The phone was dead. I'd have to find help on foot. Holy shit. The, mis the mystery deepens. Among Alice's things was a book, The Creator's Dilemma, by a Dr. Emil Hartman. Seeing the book brought back my fight with Alice. I didn't like it, and I didn't like the guy's smug face on the cover either. All right. So I'm just going to I'm just going to throw my thoughts real fast because uh, I, man that 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 like had like some emotion back there with that whole fight. I understand like this guy's got like 2 years of stress. He's he's a writer. This is his job. It's his probably his sole source of income. And he's not been able to do it for two years. And I get it. He's got this guy, Barry, hounding him. He's got his wife probably, like, trying to help any way she can. But he's like, all right, a vacation away. Let's just relax. And then, like, to have that typewriter springed on him, his wife probably thought it was a fantastic idea. He did not. Kind of blew up. The only part I just want to, like, he seems to get, he's got, like, a hair trigger on his, on his anger. But, like, the part I did not like was going into the darkness because his wife can't follow him there. I just, I feel, that, that just kind of leaves a really nasty taste in my mouth because it's like, yo, that's your wife's phobia. Like, I get it. Everybody needs space. But using, like, your partner's yeah, phobia, my best bet. They'd have a phone I could that use. doesn't feel nice. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. That'd be like if your girlfriend was like afraid of snakes. So like anytime you guys got into a fight, you would go like, I don't know, like like if you owned a snake, but you like dealt with it as long as it was in the cage. You Every time you guys got into a fight and you didn't want to talk to her, you would just go like hold the snake out around. Like you just carry the snake around the house so she would leave you alone. Like, I don't know. This, this feels weird and I don't like it. Oh no, my wife's car. Father, help. That's my boy. Down it goes. All right. Well, that that that's that's my uh, my an an analysis of that argument that nobody asked for. But here we go. Okay, come on. Come on, Alan. Keep up the pace here, buddy. Keep looking for any thermoses of coffee, though. We want to make sure you're you're ready to and and raring to fight. Should Hello? something weird happen. Nothing down there, right? Hello? Is someone there? Paper on the wind. The loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. Huh. Oh. Departure by Alan Wake. The man turned to face me. His face was covered in shadows. It was hard to make him out in the darkness of the forest that surrounded us, but the axe he lifted was plain to see. It glistened with the blood of his victim. He grinned madly. The shadows were alive, distorting his features. It was a scene from a nightmare, but I was awake. Cool. All right, so we'll collect pages as we go. 
And folks, anybody watching, if if you guys, I know this is like we're recording for YouTube, so maybe folks are piping down a little bit. By all means, please feel free to chat, do all that. Um, if anybody can't hear the game or wants to give me any critiques on the sound, please let me know. It would be appreciated. I think I have the sound set up properly, but if, if like the game is too quiet, please let me know and I will boost it. Yo, what's good? But I was awake, awake, Alan wake. Yeah, Assassin, this is a game that I remember. I played this when it came out and I loved it. Please, I've been in an accident. Game audio is low. Well, you know how easy that is to fix? Probably, uh, probably pretty easy if I could. There we go. All right, then I'm going to turn all the audio back up because I lowered it at the very beginning. Just make sure that took. All right, let's continue. If that's not enough, you let me know. Right now, it is pretty quiet, though, I will say. Gotta love this grass populating as I move. It's so weird that the that is occurring. Word, good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. All right. We see, we found some lights. Maybe we could find a phone in this uh, logging camp. Wait. Oh. Oh. Thought I saw a thermos. Hop it, Mr. Wake. You can do it. Anybody See Anybody there? Please. I've been in an accident. Hello? Hey. Hey, you. Phil. There's been an accident. I need help. Listen. Deposit. I need to... Cabins for rent in Oh hell. Carl Stucky. Pleased to meet you. non refundable reservation has required. Fair and square. I don't feel like that guy's real happy that I didn't get the keys from the cabin, but he, in my defense, took a really long time pooping. And somebody else gave me a key. How was I to know? He's just like out here saying his name over and over again. He's saying the whole thing over and over again. Okay, that's somehow worse. Oh, another manuscript page. The taking stood before me. It was impossible to focus on it, as if it stood in a blind spot caused by a brain tumor and eye disease. It was bleeding shadows like ink underwater, like a cloud of blood from a shark bite. I was terrified. I squeezed the flashlight like my life depended on it, willing it to stop coming any closer. Suddenly something gave, and the light seemed to shine brighter. Just buy cabin keys off the flea market? Damn right. All right, I will say that that ought, whoa! When he reads the pages, it is very quiet. I don't really know if I can make that any louder, but I do want to say that that's even quiet for me. Oh, Stucky's got Stucky's got moves. Okay, bro, I'm trying to dodge. Oh, that wasn't the button. Is that not the button? I don't think it was. I had to figure a way out of this. Any second now, and Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe like Nicholson in The Shining. Oh, good. I love uh, Energizer product placement. During your trying, it's the latest thing in. Yes. Human 
God damn it, Stucky, you had to break the phone? Uh... Well, I hate that. Oh, I hate it. We're just gonna, we're just gonna jump out of there. Yeah, that, that all seems like a crock of crap and we're not gonna deal with that. Good thing that door opened perfectly for me. Okay. Oh, please. Okay. Nope. God, dodging. Bro. Okay. I... Am I hitting the wrong button here? Okay, I apparently am hitting the wrong button because that shit don't dodge. Oh, got it, got it. Okay, I was hitting the wrong button. a shooting range and now i just killed someone or something there were no bodies they alan we killed we killed a few I people screaming. it felt real enough to make me sick there were at least a few people that we killed back there oh glowy bits see that oh yeah it's saying don't go on that All right. Proceeding forward, it seems. Not that way. Yep, by house. No, that house left. The house has left the building. Eerie hand-painted graffiti was revealed by my flashlight. Someone had hidden a chest of supplies near it. Oh, a flare gun. Thank you. All right. I have to remember that we can sprint. Dodging is just tapping the sprint button, the apparently. was the last place I wanted to go, but I had no choice. I had to get to the gas station. I, does gas station anything? We just got to get out of here, buddy. Oh, jeez. I was not ready for him to throw stuff. Okay, so you can you can burn the 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 darkness off of them with just the basic light. Okay, that's what I was trying to test. Yeah, Sappy Zap may be dead. <laughs> Maybe am I dead? What's this? Another manuscript page. Rose knew she had been gushing, but right now she didn't care. As far as she was concerned, her brief meeting with Alan Wake was literally the high point of her life. She watched as he got in the car with his wife. She was pretty, confident, at ease with Wake. Not like Rose. They were perfect for each other. She'd have given anything to be called their friend. That feels sad. I don't know why, but that just feels really sad. Now, wait a minute. It... Did I miss a bunch of pages back there? Like, where where the hell was I supposed to find them all? I can't go back in there, can I? Probably not. Can I, like, cheat this a little bit? I bet I can. Oh, I can. All right. I'm going to give it a very brief run back. Because I don't like backtracking in story games like this for collectibles. But if I just need to look a little bit harder for some pages, I'll look a little bit harder for some pages. Because the little side story is pretty nice sounding. It sounds pretty cool. So I'd hate to like miss out on it just because I walk too fast. But I, I really didn't see any on the way in. So I don't know if they were hidden off the beaten path 
or not. All right, I can't find him, so we're just gonna move on. Might as well reload the gun. And now we go down into the dark forest. We have to go to find our... Oh, shit. That was that scary lady from the bathroom, the dark the hallway. Our concussion is a lot worse than we thought it was if we're seeing shit. We are also shooting a bunch of people, so... When I saw the river below, something uncoiled itself inside my head. I realized that I'd have to find a way across. I didn't even want to look at the water. Is Alan, like, afraid of water? Is his wife, like, scared of darkness and he's scared of water? Because that would be kind of cute. All right, we found another coffee thermos. That's good. That's good. I like that the game isn't trying to be like a complete like jackass. Like the collectibles glow, so it's like. Dark water is their true weakness. Yeah, kind of. Stucky was still out there in the dark, stalking me. Stucky was stalking. Okay. Crap. The way I went was the way forward when it looked like it was the way back. And there's a manuscript right over there. We just saw it. Let's go back. Come on, Alan. This was the era of games not really having swim mechanics? No, not really. They didn't have a lot of them. Swimming meant death. Damn, I guess I missed, like, what? Like a crap ton of pages. Barry Wheeler was bouncing off the walls. He jumped on a plane after his calls were ignored by both Al and Alice for several days. It could mean that they were both on a second honeymoon. But Barry didn't buy it. Al had been way too unstable for that. Not sleeping. Messed up. Barry had years of experience dealing with Alan Wake. And he couldn't ignore it. Something was wrong. All right, so Barry, my my publicist and friend, is now arriving in the story at least, because he couldn't couldn't reach Alan or his wife, so he's like something's wrong, and Barry's here to fix it. So let's see if Barry shows up in the story. Lithium batteries. Whoa. Getting the good stuff up in here. That looks like the way forward. This here, this is nothing, right? This is just a cliff. Okay. Just making sure. I don't want to miss anything else. Poor. Killed him so many times jumping in the water. <laughs> My gosh. Whoa, hey. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, well, that guy just missed because he sucks. Ow. Get out of my face. Throwing crap at me. All right, I think we got to climb. Come on, Mr. Wake, climb. God, his climbing animation is, uh, painful. Okay, I'm, there's a hidden cache back here or something, I guess. It's more of that glowing paint. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny, assassin. Just drowning your poor characters in old games. 
The taken are filled with darkness. Well, they're certainly not filled with friggin' pudding. The taken. I'm assuming that is now directly referring to these, uh, these darkness filled chaps. Now you want pudding? Chocolate pudding? You know, that does sound pretty good, doesn't it? Oh, I just, just hurting poor Mr. Wake's legs. All right. Let's keep looking around here. Well, that looks scary and thankfully is not the way forward. Hello. The staircase was broken. I had to make my way up some other way. All right. Let's find our way. Energizer man literally the the sponsor for this game. It's too funny. Like they couldn't just be batteries, they had to be energizers. Hey. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, I did dodge that. I was like, I hope I dodged. There right, we got that guy. There we go. Energizer's gonna come and show up in the third act to save Mr. Allen. Hell yeah, he is. Hell yeah, he is. Oh, okay. Well, that's pretty nice. Now I know over there. Now I know where I gotta go, at least. All right, let's check this place out first, though. Pick up shotgun. All right. Manuscript page. Wake attacked by I birds. Before I saw them, swooping down from the sky and screeching as they came, I spun around just as the cloud was upon me. For an instant, I stared into a hundred dead eyes, black pearls glittering in the darkness. I raised the flashlight and the swarm exploded like fireworks. Feathers burned, turned into ash. I couldn't hear my scream above theirs. Damn. Well, let's not use the shotgun. We don't need that. We don't need that out right now. What, a bunch of birds are going to show up? Let's not be ridiculous. Don't be ridiculous. Okay, I'm checking over here for manuscripts real fast. I don't want to miss nothing. I know we saw a coffee thermos out there. We got to go for that. Number one, got to get the coffee thermos. Mr. Wake's a writer. He, he respects his need for caffeine. Really, I don't know what the hell this is going to do, but... Oh, move log lift. How fun. Gotta keep Al awake. Gotta keep Wake awake. Wake awake. Checkpoint. Good. I just wanted to see if the cans were actually shootable. They were.
Shock and ammo, we'll take that. Turn on the radio. Well, I was just outside for a breath of fresh air, and what a night. I, I know most of you are probably in your beds by now, but if you're still up and around, take a moment. Step outside for a spell and breathe in deep. Mm, the weather is absolutely still. The sky is crystal clear. It's like the forest is quietly breathing along with you. Gee, listeners, no, I'm, I'm a night owl, and it's on nights like this I wish I wasn't cooped up in the studio. Uh, makes an old man like me wish I could just roam wild. <laughs> but here I am, and it would keep you company all night long if I weren't. Uh, it looks like uh, I'm not the only one staying up late. Caller, you're on the air. Hey, Pat, it's Maurice Horton. Hello, Maurice. What are you up to? Well, I was just taking Toby on his walk. Oh, isn't it beautiful out there? Sure, but, Pat, the reason I called is that Toby heard something rustling in the undergrowth and took off after it, and I couldn't find it. Probably a rabbit. Sure. Toby loves rabbits. Well, sure. Anyway, I figured that, you know, if anyone runs into Toby, they could grab him. My number's on his collar. And Toby's a friendly dog? Well, Maurice, it's out there now. Hope Toby comes home soon. Yeah, thanks. You have a good night now. Oh, my God. Watch, I'm going to find this guy's dog and have to shoot it. I'm calling it now. I'm going to have to put poor Toby down. Toby's going to come out of the brush. I'm going to flare gun him right in the head. I do like the little radio stations. I think they're kind of fun, like the little like updates that we're getting. Wake At find pages. Finding the pages as if by accident. The book I couldn't remember was either a terrible and true prophecy or an act of creation that had rewritten the world. I began to hunt the pages feverishly, for they held the answer to the mystery. With it, I could save myself. With it, I could save Alice. We will find the end of this mystery. Well, there's the gas station. Hey, we're making progress, right? The gas station was closer now. It's light welcoming in the darkness. Paul makes the best cooks in the district. Barry Mercer is the best with no cooks. Monster dog. It's second place. The famous dog is Zeus. This guy's talking about hot dogs? Belly Buster is the first best. Sam, welcome, welcome. Pull up a chair, get a drink. Hey. There's another one behind me. Crap, I didn't mean to do that. All right, where is he? These guys should have taken that man's advice and gone for some hot dogs. There we are. Give me that. Give me some batteries. I'll take it all. Give it all to me. And that heals me up, right? The light source heals me. It's like I'm a mini Superman. Just give me a, give me a strong light bulb and I'm good to go oh I was gonna say wait a minute something got ow hey, if you could stop picking up stuff to throw at me that would be solid Interesting. I walked into the light and it fixed my health, but it chased them away. Last one hit that guy in the dick.
All right, well, that's three of them down. Anybody else want some? Come on, come on, come on. There it is. Crap. There it is. I like that I could throw one round in and then just finish the guy off. I don't have to do the full reload. I like that. Now let's check out that manuscript page. I stepped into the gas station's garage. It was dark and quiet. The place was a mess. It looked like someone trashed the place or that there'd been some kind of fight. Light spilled into the room through an open door at the back and I made my way toward it without any warning. I was blinded by a bright light. An old portable TV on the shelf had come alive by itself. Impossibly, I could see myself on the screen, talking like a madman. Talking like a madman. All right, let's keep pursuing forward. Get our health back. Pick up those very beautifully placed energizers wait a minute there was nothing over here right no that's just the view down all right supply cash out here in the woods again the lamp lighters i don't know They're, it's like a torch right kind of reminds me of the lamp lighter from uh uh, the boys because he's got the big torch uh, I never touch a salad never once This man out here is just yelling about his favorite menu items. I think that's so funny. I don't know if that'll kill multiple of them or just the one. Oh, it popped all three. See, that's kind of worth it. If it'll pop all three of them, I probably should not use that very often, though, because I don't have a lot of ammo for it, but... I love how it probably puts these shotguns around and stuff, um, just in case you didn't pick up the previous one, which I appreciate. Got it. I've got all the lithium batteries I could ever need. Science. It bestows immortality on those who advance it to elevate all of mankind. Newton, Einstein, Sagan, princes among men. But the price for such a legacy is steep indeed. In Night Springs. Tonight's episode suicide if our lives are already written it would take a courageous man to change the script having called a press conference dr. Barclay Colvin is about to demonstrate that very courage I'm watching like a whole episode Ladies of TV and gentlemen of the press I am dr. Barclay Colvin and I'm glad so many of you could join me here at the Moorcock Institute Tonight, I'm going to give a practical demonstration of the many worlds interpretation. As you can see, this is a loaded 9mm pistol. It shall be part of a thought experiment. And now, a real experiment. Known as a quantum suicide. Did he say suicide? Is that a real gun? He's kidding, right? Please, please, stay calm. There is no risk. Observe what occurs when I place the weapon against my own forehead. Now, you might think this round is merely a dud. Not so. 
observe the flower pot. And yet, I myself cannot be harmed with this gun. With each pull of the trigger, two new realities branch off. One in which the weapon didn't fire, and one where it did. With my machine here, I have ensured that this reality is always the former. I have bestowed upon myself quantum immortality. Under no circumstances can this gun kill me. So wait, wait, wait. What you're saying is that every time you pull the trigger, in another reality, you die? Yes, yes, of course, but that's completely trivial. There's an infinite number of things that could happen at any moment, and they always do happen somewhere. The point is, this one thing did not happen here. You're insane, Colvin. Insane? Insane? Hey, was this thing supposed to be plugged in? I stumbled on it. You fools. Gaze. Oh, no. Quantum immortality. Poor, poor Dr. Colvin. Felled by his own hubris or the ignorance of the masses. Perhaps he should have left the crate unopened. Observed. Curiosity often kills the cat in night springs. Damn, that was like a whole like little mini episode of the Twilight Zone that it just fed to me. I mean that's super cool, but like the fuck? <laughs> the cabin on Cauldron Lake? she asked. The sheriff looked at me suspiciously. The early morning light flooded through the office windows. I would probably never have gotten out of the woods alive without her help. But I couldn't tell her the truth of what I'd faced the previous night. She'd think I was lying or crazy. She'd lock me up, and she wouldn't help me find Alice. Hmm. Killed by bad design? Yeah, honestly, you should have super glued the plug in the wall. Very silly. All right, I mean, this looks bad. This looks like a very obvious bad time. Is it Stucky? Oh, it's Stucky time. Okay, Stucky and friends. I kind of figured that that barrel would explode. It did not. Um, One more. There it is. All right, we got him. All right. I aimed it right at the stuck he got. Oh, no! Where the hell did he get to? He came out of nowhere there and just got me. Dodge, dodge, please. Okay, Stucky. You ain't gonna get, oh, oh God. Damn, this guy is fast. Stucky for a man who eats nothing but hot dogs. Well, he just ate six in the back. Sorry, Stucky. Stucky's body vanished, leaving behind only a lifetime of nightmares to come. Assuming I'd reached the lights at the gas station alive. That was pretty funny. Just literally just like, oh, I'm sorry, buddy. And I just shot him. 
Had to use the old double barrel right on his face. Do a kickflip, Stucky. Go. But I could have shot that and it would have fallen. I need to test it out now. Get out of my face, Stucky. Just checking for any manuscript pages before we head out of the boss area. All right, I don't see any. We're going to get to that dang gas station. Hey, I wonder if he had my real cabin key in his pocket. Probably should have checked his pants if he didn't literally disintegrate after I shot him. All right, up we go. That is a big old deer. I recognized the parade float I had seen in Bright Falls when I first arrived with Alice. Who's ready for deer fest, am I right? After the insanity I had just experienced in the darkness, the lights of the gas station felt comforting. At least for a moment, the same world reasserted itself. Alright, pick up that manuscript. Stucky spat on the garage floor and tried to shake the cobwebs from his head. Ever since the couple never showed to pick up the keys, things had been fuzzy. Something, a feeling caught his attention. Stucky looked up and stared as his brain tried in vain to process the horror before him. He stumbled back, knocking over a can of oil. A black pool spread across the floor while he struggled for a brief moment, then let go as the unrelenting darkness engulfed him. Damn, Stucky got got. I ain't losing out on the thermos. All right, now let's try the gas station. I had to get inside the gas station to find a phone to call for help. The deer fest had been two weeks away when we arrived. If the day count on the banner was right, I was missing a whole week between the night we got here and now. The garage Yikes. was a mess. It looked like someone had trashed the place, or that there'd been some kind of fight. All right. I'll keep writing. Outside, there's only darkness. Outside the cabin, outside the story, there's only darkness. I can feel a presence in the dark. Just now, I could smell her perfume in the room. I'll reach her, I'll fix her. I'll bring her back. The story will come true. If I stop, she's lost. I don't believe this. It'd been me on the TV, talking crazy. Was I losing my mind? Kind of seems like it. Read. Games and activities, raffle tickets, fishing for the children. Don't miss the legendary Deer Fest Parade. Everybody's favorite. Everybody loves Deer Fest. Oh, got the phone. Beep, beep, boop, boop. Right ball, Sheriff Station. Thank God, Sheriff. Sheriff Sarah Breaker, you are... I'm Alan Wake, but listen, I was in a car crash. My wife, Alice, she's missing. Calm down, Mr. Wake. We were staying in a cabin on the island, on Cauldron Lake. There's no island on Cauldron Lake, not since the big eruption in the 70s. Please, I can take you there, okay? You look like you've taken a pretty bad knock to the head. Are you okay? Listen. We'll figure this out. Please get in the car. We'll swing by the lake, and then we'll go to the station, okay? Mr. Wake, have you seen Stucky, the guy who owns this place? I realized I couldn't tell her what had happened in the forest. She wouldn't have believed me, and then she wouldn't have helped me with Alice. Oh, the story. The story. Okay, so the story is coming true. The manuscripts we're finding are real, or will be.
candy colored clown. They all righty folks that is going to be the end of this episode i hope you guys have enjoyed it if you did please leave a like and if you like this content please consider subscribing it would be appreciated if you want to see stuff like this as i'm playing it live the link to my twitch channel is also right down below thanks everybody this has been final hydra and i will see you next time